Hello, this is Skywarp's Hangar, and today we have Star Wars SH Figuarts Django Fett. Uh, he does come in a box, which we are accustomed to from the Star Wars line from Figuarts. Uh, you get the clear plastic on the front with the little surround that's chromed, and on this side, you get that. On this side, you get a picture of Django. On the bottom, you get some Japanese writing, which I don't understand. And on this side, you get Star Wars Django Fett. And on the back, you get some cool little artwork. Ah, Matt! Go away! <laughs> oh, Django Fett! So it's pretty good. Um, Django Fett stands. He does stand. And he stands at just a hair under six inches, about, uh, well, six inches at his antenna. If you're going to the head, he stands at, uh, five inches, uh, what is that? Five and seven eighths inch tall at the helmet. Django does come with some accessories. He comes with two pistol holding hands. You can see this finger kind of fits into the pistol right there. Yeah, let's do a close up. Yeah, you see where the finger fits into the pistol right there, which that's kind of cool. He comes with two of those, one for the left and one for the right. So you get that. Of course, he comes out of package with two fists. Which, yeah, they're fists. Um... comes with two open palms, as you can see, and he comes with two pointing finger or button pushing fingers, uh, which also can hold the pistol if you want them to, but um, additionally, you can kind of have him push a button trigger off one of his little mechanisms, which is kind of cool. Let's get that off of there. He does come with his two pistols, which we'll do a close-up on them. Very nicely done. If I do say so myself. where the tip is gold. There's some gold paint app in there. Then, yeah. yeah. Get paint app along. Yeah, yeah, pretty nifty. Pretty to go. Yeah. Alright. Also, he comes with two uh, pistol handles which you can act like uh, they got chopped off by Mace Window so he doesn't have the tips of his gun anymore or you can put these in the holsters now these don't fit in the holsters only these do so you just peg those in there's a little let's see if you can see yeah, there's a little peg right there, and you just kind of peg that part. This, uh, this part, right, just peg it in there, and it holds in pretty well. Yeah. Also, he comes with 
a wrist attachment piece that has the blades that come out and you can attach his grappling hook to it which you can either use just the grappling tip or it also comes with this piece which is the grappling hook with the wire so he can act like he's shooting it at people and that clips into both this part and whoa the part that's currently on his wrist which is the part that came out of package now to change that out is unplug that you take these wires out which they just kind of slide out this is my first time doing this so hopefully we don't have any hiccups along the way I have to get in there yep 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 all right no <sighs> no we knew there was going to be one hiccup yeah you just kind of put that in there all right and then you just clip that back on and voila yes yeah, his blades on his arm if you're wondering about comparison here's his nemesis <laughs> miss windu so yeah pretty cool of course, Mace Windu has his fury eye patch on him. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. And we will go into articulation. Um, let me take that off. I guess I didn't want to stay in there. Hmm. Eh, right. Yeah, we could get that back on. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Goes right back on. Alright. I've heard some complaints on Django as far as the articulation goes eh, we're gonna go into that any second one of the complaints i heard was his head is too close his helmet the bottom of his helmet is too close to his shoulders i don't know i kind of like the way he looks personally but that's just me eh, maybe uh they're right as far as accuracy but i don't know i like him uh, that doesn't really bother me too much all right as far as articulation goes this uh antenna it does go forward just like so so you can have him like that if you'd like um head moves in a lot of different ways you can look down you can look up about that high before well actually that doesn't really hinder i guess no it doesn't really hinder well, I guess it does run into the rocket, but just a hair, not much, though. Uh, he could turn his head, of course. And tilt his head to the side. Uh, this shoulder pauldron, it does move. Um, now, this is one of the problems with the articulation that I've heard, and I can't disagree with them. Uh... His arm only moves up about that high, which is different for a figure arts. Usually, I'm used to them being able to reach to the sky. But, yeah, it goes out about that far when you go back. So, you get a little bit more movement if you turn his shoulder. But, he does get the full 360 with no hindrance. He has a swivel at... The bicep he does have double jointed elbows 
which bend more than a 90. Uh, he does have a swivel at the wrist as well as a good tilt. And of course those hands are on ball joints, you just switch those out. At the waist, you have two points of articulation on this one. So he does, he can put his, get an ab crunch in there. Yeah. His legs do move out about that far. And of course, he has those neat little figure arts thighs. He could kick up about that high. And he can go back about that far. Now, one of the things with mine, hopefully you have better luck with yours. But right there, you can see there's a little bit of a looseness right there, which I'm not pleased with I'm not entirely upset about I and mean, it is what it is at the knee he does have a double jointed knee that moves that far um, looks kind of funky to me there <laughs> but it is uh, that's how he was made so hey um, he does have a tilt at the foot as well as a rocker joint at the ankle and a swivel as well and of course you get toe articulation yeah he's a pretty cool figure I like him I do like him a lot I'm very pleased with him I think they did a really good job on him and I do recommend picking him up especially if you picked him up at the Nispanya Psalm price they had him at eighteen dollars. Napoleon, your son? Yeah. Oh man. I'm like, dang. <laughs> I missed out on that deal. <laughs> but anyways, even still, uh, for the money I paid for him, I'm very happy with him, and I do recommend picking him up uh, while he's still available. This is Skywarp's Hanger, and if you like our review, please click like and please subscribe to our page to see more reviews from us. Thank you.